What is good, everybody? Welcome back to another My Damn Toys video. Today, ladies and gentlemen, we do have some breaking news out of the WWE action figure community. Not only the WWE action figure community, but action figure communities alike all across the world, all across any any brand you name. This is going to heavily affect them as we progress. Guys, as you guys know, San Diego Comic-Con comes around once a year. San Diego Comic-Con 2020 was coming around July every year. It comes around June, July. I always forget which month it is. I think it's July, but it, it doesn't matter. Diving into it, guys, as you know, San Diego Comic-Con does come around every year, and that is where every toy company gets to reveal all of the stuff they've been working on for the previous year. Any new stuff that's going to be coming out in the fall of 2020, in the fall of that, that year that San Diego Comic-Con comes around, uh, into the next year, into a full next year, they get to reveal everything they've been working on, and it's basically like a huge worldwide event where people come from all over, from all different brands and all different likenesses and they come together and we get to reveal it and have this nice big you know epic event where all these different companies get to showcase what they've been creating and what they're bringing to the you know what they're bringing to the market this year and unfortunately this year guys San Diego Comic-Con is going to be canceled so this is uh, very heartbreaking this is very unfortunate you know this is like the Super Bowl for all of these action figure creators all these big time toy companies like Mattel and Hasbro and any of those companies that are you know really really big and any any figure communities that are really small you know san diego comic-con is just a it's it's freaking it's it's part of our culture man you know it's a really big deal it's where everything takes place we always get the biggest reveals at san diego comic-con this is where you know you know at wrestlemania access this is where we get really good stuff as well like we saw this year at sdcc that is really where things get turned up to 10 and we really get to see a ton of reveals and a ton of brand new things so this is uh, really unfortunate but we do have a statement right here uh, revealed from California and the Comic Con, you know, uh, the the con itself, you know, the people that put the thing together, and they've come out, you know, in April to to, to announce the cancellation, which I guess it does make sense. You know, it takes a very, it takes so much planning for an event that big when you have vendors and people coming from all over the world to that one event. It does take a lot of planning out and a lot of detail. So. I do understand them having to move quickly on this and having to make a decision this early, but let's go ahead and dive into the statement, guys. It does say, Comic-Con announces plans in light of COVID-19 pandemic. The current situation requires exceptional measures. For the first time in the 50-year history, San Diego Comic-Con SDCC, the organizers behind the annual pop culture celebration, announced today with deep regret that there will be no Comic-Con in 2020. The event will instead return to the San Diego Convention Center from July 22nd to the 25th, 2021. Recognizing that countless attendees save and plan for its conventions each year and how many exhibitors and stakeholders rely upon its events for a major portion of their livelihood, they had hoped to delay this decision in anticipation that COVID-19 concerns might lessen by summer. Continuous monitoring of health advisories and recent statements by the governor of California have made it clear that it would not be safe to move forward with plans for this year. SDCC also announced that individuals who purchase badges for Comic-Con 2020 will have the option to request a refund or transfer their badges to Comic-Con 2021. Extraordinary times require extraordinary measures, and while we are saddened to take this action, we know it is the right decision, said David Glanzer, spokesperson for the organization. We eagerly look forward to the time when we can all meet again and share in the community we all love and enjoy. So obviously this is very important news for us guys because um, you guys know that San Diego Comic Con is where we always get our biggest reveals. You know last year we had a ton of epic reveals. I always do a really big reveal like show here on the channel. I do like a 20, 25, 30 minute video where we break down all the new reveals. We go over all the best reveals. I give you my personal thoughts and opinions on what we're getting. We break it down. We literally take a look at every single thing in between for the Mattel action figures that we're going to be getting. You know this is very unfortunate for the I feel really terrible for the creators you know Bill and Steve and all the people over there that create these Mattel action figures that are a part of that process it's very unfortunate for them because this is where they get to see all of their hard work kind of pay off to an extent you know when they're showcasing all of their you know products that they've created over the past year what they've been really working on for the past year they get to pretty much bring it and they get to see all of the people in person react to those figures man it's just really unfortunate to see that but I have no doubts 
that we're still going to get the reveals. It's not like this is going to cancel all the figures, you know. We're still going to get the figures. We're still going to get the reveals. We're still going to get to see all of the epic crap that Mattel has made for us in the past year, and I cannot wait to see it. I think it's going to be excellent, and um, I think that we're definitely going to get some epic stuff out of this. However, it is unfortunate it won't be at the big pop culture event that is San Diego Comic-Con, so... San Diego Comic Con of 2020 will officially be canceled and uh, coming back in 2021. So it doesn't look like they're going to delay it. They're not going to do anything like that because of how massive it is. Like, this is a very massive event. It'd be kind of like, uh, it's not quite obviously the Super Bowl, but it's an equivalent. You know, it's the big show of the year. So I know that a lot of people are very bummed out about this. But again, it's not going to hinder the, the reveals. We're still going to have something. You know, the WrestleMania access was canceled and we didn't get an access and we didn't get, uh, you know, the meet and greets and stuff like that, but we still got an, um, a reveal show by Kurt Hawkins and Zack Ryder on WWE's YouTube channel where they revealed all the figures, and I got to still put them up to you guys, so I'm sure we'll have something similar to that. I don't know if Zack Ryder and Kurt Hawkins will be involved in that. You know, I don't know what the whole deal is about that. I don't know if they're still... Uh, I'm guessing they won't be working with Mattel closely like that anymore because they're no longer with WWE, but I do think that we will still get some sort of reveals. You know, I don't know if they'll just post them, you know, Ringside will just post them up, or if they'll do a WWE reveal on their YouTube channel, or if they'll just post them to WWE.com. I really don't know the whole situation on that. We'll have to figure that out, but until that day comes, we do know that we are not getting Comic-Con which is, again, just a big bummer, man. And it's it's such a massive event that you have to plan so far ahead. You guys saw that it was supposed to be in July. The end of July is usually when it is. It's like July 20th, usually through the 25th or, you know, 22nd through the 25th. And this year, it just can't happen due to everything going on because you have to plan so far in advance. Um, I know firsthand that I've thought about going to certain cons here in Alabama, and um, they they like need reservations super early. And that's not for a big, you know, that's not for a big con like you know San Diego Comic Con. This is for smaller. We do something called Comic Con, and we do something called Hama Con. And both of those are pretty big events, but uh, they you don't you know you don't have to reservate you don't have to have a reservation three months in advance. It's usually you know a month or so. So you know for an event this size in this size capacity in the city of San Diego, I highly you know understand what they're trying to do here and trying to get this thing under wraps. But very shitty, man. It's just so crappy that we have to uh, cancel San Diego Comic Con. It's like 2020, man. Freaking ridiculous. I think, you know, we are on the cusp. You know, we're, we're getting there slowly but surely. But uh, it's going to be a little bit before we can get back to full normalcy. And uh, once we finally do, man, it's going to be an epic day. And I can't freaking wait for that day, all right? I, I'm freaking hyped. And um, another thing I wanted to mention is what about... Uh, I'll probably I might do another separate video, but what the hell is up with Money in the Bank this year? I don't know if you guys saw Money in the Bank this year, but Money in the Bank is going to be at the corporate building at WWE. It says breaking WWE superstars will climb the corporate ladder at Money in the Bank. The match begins on the ground floor of WWE headquarters, but the briefcases will be hanging all the way up on the roof of the corporate tower. What in the blue hell is this? It looks like they're at Titan Tower over there, and it looks like uh, there these li these freaking images leaked. That uh, WWE is basically going to have a crane on top of the roof and a, r uh, a ring on top of the roof. And guys are going to have to go from the ground floor and race to the top of the roof of the tower. Get up on, the, you know, get in the ring, get the ladder and climb up and get the money in the bank briefcase off the crane. I don't really know what the hell this is. I mean, it's it's creative. It's it's entertaining. It's fun. I don't know what to think, man. That's, that's absolutely ridiculous. It feels like we're in a dream sequence or something like that or an alternate reality. I don't know why they want not just have the match or the pay-per-view like they did WrestleMania at the Performance Center. Maybe they want to change things up. I really don't know what they're doing here or what the thing is. Maybe, I know it seems like a lot of people are giving them backlash for still recording shows and stuff like that. I, for one, would totally call for, you know, just a break. Give everybody a break, a much-needed break, and then come back, you know, when everything starts opening back up. But it doesn't seem WWE's going to do that, man. We're going to have a freaking, this just sounds like a, I don't, I don't know, it just sounds like some kids made up. WWE Action Figure Land is kind of what it sounds like to me, is what this match kind of seems like, but hell, I'm, I'm all open for it, I'm open for something new, it kind of reminds me of like Attitude Era or something, sort of just kind of wacky and crazy, but hopefully it doesn't take away the seriousness of Money in the Bank, hopefully we do get some good stuff going on with Money in the Bank and it still lives up to the hype, you know, I feel like the last few years Money in the Bank has been ruined. 
I would say since like 2014, to be honest with you guys. I mean, think about it. You had Seth, then you had Sheamus, then you had Dean Ambrose, which wasn't bad, but he cashed in the same night. So, you know, you took away from, you know, the whole feeling of money in the bank and the, you know, the aspect of it. Then you had Trash Corbin, Braun Strowman, then you had Brock. So it's been really, really shitty, bro. That's all the news I have for you guys today. I wanted to break the news of Comic-Con. I wanted to share the thoughts with you and tell you that no matter what, I still will be revealing any action figures we get will still be live here on the channel. And we we will break them down. You know, uh, it's 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 very shitty, but you know what, man? We're still going to get some epic reveals, and we're still going to continue on with the best of them, but that is going to do it for today's video, guys. I hope you guys did, you know, enjoy the info. I know it's not the info you want to hear, but uh, if you plan on attending San Diego Comic-Con, I would love to know down in the comment section below. But that is going to do it for today's video, guys. Thank you so very much for watching. Subscribe to the channel. Follow me on Instagram and Twitter at MyDamnToys, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Thank you.